Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the original Marshall Lynch Beast Mode, apparently. His name is Larry Sonka, and he was a bruiser. Um, KTO has brought out a video about him. It's a name that I've been requested a lot, uh, so we're about to watch it. Without further ado, let's get into meet the original Marshall Lynch Beast Mode, Larry Sonka. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Uh. We should just do a little bit of research. The last guy I looked at was Julio Jones. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, let's just get his age for a start. Larry Richard, Lawrence Richard Sonka. Born December 25th, 1946, as a former professional American football fullback. Well, I like the sound of that. And was inducted into both the College Football Hall of Fame and Pro Football Hall of Fame. With Miami Dolphins, he was a member of their perfect season in 1972 and won Super Bowl championships in 72 and 73. The Dolphins had a perfect season? I thought that had never happened before. What do we got here? One of six children. He was born in the Akron suburb in Stowe, Ohio, where he was raised on a farm by his Hungarian family. Six foot three as a fullback. Nearly 240 pounds. He went in the 1968 draft, round number one, pick number eight. He played for the Dolphins from 68 to 74, the Memphis, Memphis Southmen in 75, the New York Giants 76 to 78, and back to the Miami Dolphins in 1979. And I assume he may have gone back to the Dolphins to uh, retire a Dolphin, possibly. Sonka became a running back by accident. Because of his size, he played defensive end on the varsity team as a sophomore. In the last game that year, he was sent in as a substitute on the kickoff return team. The ball just happened to go to him and he took off running with it. Wrote Sonka, and I quote, I ran over two tacklers before I realised what I was doing. I didn't score or save the game, but I got a tremendous feeling carrying the ball. I know exactly how you feel, buddy. I was thrashing around, trying to run six ways at once. I loved it. I knew then that I wanted to run with the ball. Man, I feel you, brother. Even so, the next year, Zonka had a tough time before the start of the season convincing his teammates and coaches that he could play running back. They said that he was too big and too slow. Although there were doubts about his abilities, he did well in the first game of the season. He went to Syracuse. He played middle linebacker his first season before switching to fullback from 65 to 67, where he was named an All-American. <laughs> Fucking hell. In, in his three seasons, he rushed for a school record 2,934 yards, rushed for 100, 100 yards in 14 different games, and averaged 4.9 yards per carry. Give it to Zonka, he'll just get you down the field. He ranked 19th, 5th, Ninth and fifth in the nation in rushing each year. He was the most valuable player in the East-West Shrine game, the Hula Bowl, and the College All-Star game. In 89, he was enshrined to the College Football Hall of Fame. Huh. He signed a three-year contract after being drafted <laughs> that paid him a signing bonus of 34000 equivalent to 239000 in 2017, and a car, and a salary of 20000 then 25,000, then 30,000 each year. His pro career got off to a shaky start. In the fifth game, he was knocked out and suffered, suffered a concussion where he hit his head on the ground during a tackle. And you know what? That's all we're going to read, guys. Let's get into KTO, the original beast mode. Can't wait. If football player was a term in the dictionary, it would show a picture of Larry Zonka. The main style of play is what the very nature of the sport is all about. Bruising. The heart and soul of the 1972 Dolphins, the only undefeated team ever in the Super Bowl era. And I'm telling you, he was a battering ram. Get that head low, he's 6'3 and he's doing this, guys. So Marshawn Lynch is a special player, well deserving of his nickname Beast Mode, but yep. Larry Zonka did one thing that I don't think Beast Mode, let alone anyone, will ever do again in the NFL. Larry Zonka is the only player ever to be penalized for knocking a player unconscious while running the ball. 
In a New York Times article, it said, in a game against the Buffalo Bills in 1970, he knocked out safety John oh my with God. a shot. Oh my God. A cross. The dude loved to run the ball, but it wasn't Shit. scoring that motivated him. It was oh. dropping his head and punishing the best. Oh. No it wonder he got concussed. That's why he suffered 10 broken noses throughout his football career. And that face mask probably didn't help. Oh, 10 broken noses. Are you fucking Sometimes joking? Sometimes he'd be running with nothing but daylight in front of him. And then he would spot a defender on the corner of his eye and run at him instead. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't doubt if he just wanted to fight out there. Watch him throw an elbow into this guy's helmet. He was hard to bring down though. Oh, with his plain Jesus. weight bearing around 235 to 250, it usually took multiple defenders to slow him. Of course, he was hard to bring Having down. Him run up the gut with that punishing mindset must have been real fun for defenders to deal with. Oh, I would Ladies not have wanted to take him. The Dolphins' second Super Bowl win in 1973 with 145 yards, two touchdowns, and took home the game's MVP. <laughs> the Vikings linebacker Jeff Simon said after wow. Super Bowl VIII, "It's not the collision that gets you; it's what happens after you tackle him." His legs are so strong, he keeps moving. He carries you. He's Look at that mustache. And he rarely fumbles or drops a pass. He was also an excellent blocker. What's interesting, it's actually an accident that Larry Zonka even became a fullback. Going back to his high school days, because of his size, he played defensive end as a sophomore. In the last game of the year, he was sent in as a substitute on the kickoff return team. And the ball just happened to go to him. I so see what you're doing, KTO. And this is what Zonka said happened. I ran over two tacklers before I realized what I was doing. I didn't score or save the game, but I got a tremendous feeling carrying the ball. I was thrashing around, I feel ya. trying to run six ways at once. I loved, I it. loved it. I knew then that I wanted to run with the ball. He went on to play his college ball at Syracuse. So that's what he still looks like. convinced to put him in the backfield because of his size. After his freshman year of being on the defensive side, they gave him a chance at fullback. And three seasons later, he was an All-American and broke multiple school records held by a list of guys that included Ernie Davis and Jim Brown. In 1968, Jim he was Brown. drafted in the first round by the Miami Dolphins. You will probably never see another fullback drafted in the first round, which is mostly due to the evolution of the game and the limited use of a fullback as far as carrying the ball. Here's a pretty funny story during his rookie year. So, according to the Sports Nation article, when he was a rookie, the veterans of the team forced him to stand up on a chair and he would sing a song while people threw jello at him. And Zonka said, That lasted about two days, and then I didn't want to get up on the chair anymore. I told everyone, If you want to put me on the chair, you're going to have to earn it. <laughs> and that was the end of that. <laughs> as far as his career goes, Zonka was featured in one of the most successful running back by committee offenses ever. They ran a split end offense with Zonka in the middle. They handed it to either him, Jim Kick, or Mercury Morris. Fuck, man. Zonka and Morris were the first He's not slow. to each record a thousand yards on the ground in the same season. Not only is Zonka one of the greatest fullbacks of all time, he also has one of the most iconic mustaches ever. <laughs> because of this, I gotta show you guys what cheesy said. Was that nose broken ten times? About. Really? Zonk, if you want a date, get in shape. Shape? I'm solid steel. Uh-uh. Shick shape, Zonk. Shick shape. Shick razors. Zonka and his teammates had reached the pinnacle of success in the NFL. Oh, with man. the undefeated season, two Super Bowls in a row, and a 32 2 record over two years. In March 1974, Larry Zonka, Jim Kick, and Paul Warfield decided to say goodbye to the NFL and sign contracts to play in the newly created World Football League. Right, so that was the Memphis. So, the WFL had quite the nicknames for their teams. The South Southern Memphis. California Sun, the Birmingham Americans, the Florida Blazers, the Hawaiians, <laughs> but the best one of all might be the one that these guys actually played for. All three of them signed with the team in Memphis. I just gotta give props for the creativity in the team's name, the Memphis Southmen. But get this, the team was originally from Toronto and their team name was the <laughs> When the franchise moved south, the team owner was like, hey, Southmen, it only makes sense. The people of Memphis really didn't like that name, but the owner didn't want to change it. So I guess for the fans, he randomly stuck a grizzly bear on the helmet, even though the official team name was still the Southmen. Yeah, this league fell apart. Isn't it the Memphis Grizzlies in the NBA? 
real quick. This league overall was just a weird story. Elvis Presley was involved, they tried to sue the NFL. I mean, it has real potential to be a video. But after the league folded, Zonka and his teammates went back to the NFL. And Zonka played a few years on the Giants before eventually going back to Miami and retiring his Hall of Fame career as a Dolphin. Like I said in the beginning, Zonka is the definition of a football player. His attitude is everything you want. It right. honestly seems rare nowadays. He's a beast. He's willing to do anything to win. And at the end of the day, he understands that no matter how dominant you are, football is still a team game. What makes you oh, most proud this should be of good. your Hall of Fame career? My teammates. I didn't get in here by myself. <laughs> this is my favorite quote. That's awesome. I love it. We're going to score or somebody's going to have to kill me. Beast. Absolute beast. I love that. That was my first look at Larry Zonka, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the green screen. Um, I pray, pray to God that it works. <laughs> it should work. It looks pretty green. But uh, you guys will know. So anyways, if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you guys back here very soon. Peace out, everybody.